थर्टीन हंड्रेड आर्स पाकिस्तान स्टैंडर्ड टाइम असलम दिस इज रेडियो पाकिस्तान द न्यूज रेड बाय असमा हफीज फर्स्ट द हेडलाइंस फेडरल कैबिनेट मीटिंग चेयर बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर इज इन प्रोग्रेस इन इस्लामाबाद डिस्कसिंग ओवरऑल पोलिटिकल एंड इकोनॉमिक सिचुएशन ऑफ द कंट्री Foreign Minister has reaffirmed Pakistan's desire for the establishment of an inclusive government in Afghanistan. <music> Taliban spokesperson has admired Prime Minister Imran Khan's efforts for peace, stability and inclusive government in Afghanistan. <music> United States and Pakistan have agreed to work together to address the issue of climate change. <music> and now the news in detail. A meeting of federal cabinet chaired by Prime Minister Imran Khan is in progress in Islamabad. It is discussing overall political and economic situation of the country. Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi has reaffirmed Pakistan's desire for the establishment of an inclusive government in Afghanistan. During a meeting with the UN press representatives in New York he stressed that the international community should not abandon Afghanistan he said a peaceful afghanistan will be a cause of stability for the whole region he said pakistan extended full assistance in the evacuation of foreign nationals from afghanistan the foreign minister said despite limited resources pakistan has been hosting 3 million afghan refugees over the last 4 decades Taliban spokesperson Zabihullah Mujahid has admired Prime Minister Imran Khan's efforts for peace, stability and inclusive government in Afghanistan. Addressing a news conference in Kabul today, he said we do not see the positive statements of Prime Minister Imran Khan as interference in the internal matters of Afghanistan. He said Pakistan, Qatar and China are playing active role for stability in Afghanistan. He said we will welcome the role of countries which are entrusted to work with good intent for peace and stability in Afghanistan he confirmed that Pakistan and some other countries have political contacts with Afghanistan Zabihullah Mujahid said they are heading towards an inclusive government he said more people from different ethnicities including hazaras technocrats and educated people have been inducted in the interim government he said the cabinet formation is not complete yet and more people will also be included in it responding to a question the taliban spokesperson expressed the confidence that economic activities will soon resume in the country Minister of Information and Broadcasting Chaudhry Fawad Hussain has said the cancellation of New Zealand and England tours cost PTV millions of rupees. In a tweet today he said the lawyers will be consulted for the legal action against the two boards. The information minister said a certain international lobby is working against Pakistan but those who want to bend us will never succeed. <coughs> The United States and Pakistan have reaffirmed their commitment to work together to address the issue of climate change. This came at the inaugural meeting of US Pakistan Climate and Environment Working Group in Islamabad. In her remarks on the occasion, US charged the affairs lauded the efforts of Pakistan has made in climate adaptation and land use through initiatives such as 10 billion tree tsunami and clean green Pakistan. She said these initiatives raise public awareness and demonstrate Pakistan is an active player in the fight against climate change and environmental degradation. Special Assistant to the Prime Minister on Climate Change Malik Amin Aslam welcomed cooperation on climate change between the United States and Pakistan. Nigerian High Commissioner to Pakistan Mohammad Bello held a meeting with Naval Chief Admiral Mohammad Abjad Khan Niazi in Islamabad today and discussed regional maritime security situation. They reaffirmed the commitment to bolster cooperation between the two countries. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir Indian authorities have suspended mobile phone and internet services in Uri as massive cordon and search operations have entered the third day today in the area Indian troops have cordoned off a large swath of Uri and reinforcements have been made to conduct house to house searches Hindustan Times reported that the operation is going on and a high alert has been sounded for the army camps located in the area 
And that's all from the newsroom. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News.